Okay, so today is a big day for Mia and for mommy and daddy. Today Mia starts with her dag mama, so her daycare. Today we're doing one hour um, and I'm going to be there the whole time so that Mia can kind of get used to it, meet all the children um, and play with all the toys and have a great time. I'm not feeling as kind of emotional as I expected I would but I'm going with her today so it's kind of different. I think tomorrow when I leave her there only for two hours it will be a bit different so we shall see. <laughs> Okay, so we've just finished at the Dag Mama and it was so much fun to see Mia playing just quite happily playing on her own or with some other children. So I think I'm going to be brave tomorrow and drop her off for, she said an hour and a half, so an hour and a half to two hours. Mia was pretty tired by the end of just that one hour anyway. It's a lot of stimulation for them, so it's good. She might nap in the car now, but we need to go out and pick up a few things because here in Iceland, babies sleep in the pram outside. We used to do this in the UK. We don't anymore for safety reasons, um, but Iceland is a safe country so we have to go with this. We have a second hand buggy like a big one a Swedish big one for this. We've got a sleeping bag, we've got fleecy blankets, we've got um, the woolen blankets, we've got I think a sheepskin layer for it as well because obviously she'll be doing this when it's snowing and all sorts of things. Um, but yeah we need to get the straps so that she can't get out of the buggy and we also need to get a like net cover because there's quite a few cats in the area all of these things that when i'm saying them out loud i'm trying not to worry about <laughs> about this and she's never slept in the buggy just on her own outside um obviously she slept in a buggy whilst we've walked so this is quite different for her as well as us but i'm sure it'll be fine so i think we just used the reins to put her inside the buggy i don't know but they have all these different nets for the buggy kind of mind-boggling so we've got these ones obviously we've got to get pink <laughs> and a net behind there and this is the shop so these are the sleeping bags and i looked at one that was for sale and it was all fortune anyway so hmm <laughs> i'm very glad we already have one Mia just uh, decided she's not going to take a nap, so she came out to have a little look with Daddy. Just packing Mia up for her day or afternoon with Dag Mama tomorrow. This is the sleeping bag that we've got for her. Doesn't it look huge <laughs> for tiny little Mia? Um, but this will be all cosy in the pram. And I'm also going to put in this blanket, which her lovely friend Amy knitted for us. Um, so that will go in as well. We've also got a fleecy blanket. Uh, we have the cover. There's a rain cover. I think there's two rain covers on the buggy already and the straps so that she can't go anywhere. So, so it's day two of the Dag Mama and we're walking to go right now. Um, as I said, it's only like five, ten minute walk away. So it's super easy and it's nice that we get this little bit of time together. So today is the first day that I'll be leaving her there um, and this is the first time that I've ever left you with anyone but family. So, um, or I don't even think I've left her with any friends. Yeah, um, so yeah, mommy has to be super brave but I'm meeting up with my friend Brittany who's working from home today so she's going to distract me. It's only an hour and a half so it's nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be really, really brave and Mia's going to have an amazing time and Mummy's going to have a little rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I did it. I was super brave. <laughs> I took off her snowsuit and just let the dag mama pick her up and so yeah, she just cuddled in and went through to see the other children. So she's in there for another hour and a half. I'm going to go and see Brittany. Um, I'm going to turn my phone's volume on just in case she phones me, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine and I'm sure the time will fly by anyway, so yay! Freedom! <laughs> We've got this one back. She had a great time. She did really well. She was even playing with one of the other kids. So today was a success and we're going to do the, the same again tomorrow. 
but I think that she is exhausted now. Right, we're back in the car. Daddy's just popped into bonus, but Mia did very well at playgroup today at Dag Mama. She played for, I think, almost two hours. She's having a snack right now, so she's super happy. Um, and then she slept in the in the buggy outside. So I think the Dag Mama put her down in all of the layers <laughs> to sleep. Um, but she cried for a bit. She wasn't too happy. She's never slept like this before, so obviously she wasn't gonna go along with the plan. Um, first off, so she took her back in for another half an hour until she was absolutely zonked and put her down for a nap. And she slept for an hour and 15 minutes, which is a record at the moment because Mia normally naps for 45 minutes and that's it. So you did really well, monkey. Um, so yeah, daddy did well. He said that he missed her a lot. I got a lot of work done. I wrote over 3,000 words for blog posts, two blog posts today, um, which is what I just, I want to get back into. So I feel fired up, I feel excited, and yeah, I'm really proud of Mia and I'm proud of us for doing all of this. Okay, so it's Friday. We've made it to the end of the week and we're heading back to the Dag Mama for our last day of the uh, transition period, let's call it. <laughs> yeah, so Mia has done, I think she managed three and a half hours yesterday, maybe four hours, can't remember, but she has napped there now as well. Uh, she napped on Wednesday and Thursday and she's gonna nap today. Basically, it's gone really well. So I think she's gonna do a full day on Monday um, and then we'll just kind of take it from there. So now I'm home all on my own, no little person a nice hot cup of coffee and the place to myself. Cheers. I'm, I just feel so proud of us. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I just feel like this is a kind of mini graduation from being mummy and Mia to Mia's gone off and playing with her friends and mummy can have some alone time. And I feel so proud of us for getting this far. We all survived. Yay. <laughs> We don't need that in. Mm. Yay! So Mia did her first full day. Mummy was very brave and waited until quarter to four to pick her up. And she was asleep in the buggy outside, but she'd only been asleep for half an hour or so. We took her out, transferred her into the other buggy, and we had a nice walk home in the sunshine. And Daddy met us halfway. Yeah, can you see yourself? Hiya! Ah, oh. <laughs> that's the end of that.